Taiwan's unemployment rate fell to 3.78% in March to reach a 20-month low, according to the government's statistics bureau, which indicated that 8,000 unemployed had found jobs last month. The bureau also reported that regular and overtime wages had increased, but some workers weren't buying the story. A study by the government's official statistics bureau found that the average salary in January and February this year was 39,520 NT dollars, up 1.62 percent on the same period last year. Average overtime also rose by 12.5 percent in year-on-year -year terms to 1,681 NT, but some workers weren't feeling any better off. The effect of the amendment to the Labor Standards Act on overtime hours may not be obvious, but its effect on overtime wages is relatively clear. That's not the case here. My salary hasn't gone up, and for overtime, you have to look at what sector you're in. If you go and look at the market, it's obvious. Goods are really expensive right now. I don't think we can trust this government data. One job search website backed up the public skepticism, saying the government statistics office was manipulating the numbers. There was a clear increase in the average salary compared to last year, but I think that on some level, that increase might reflect the rise in basic wages put into effect in January of this year, which pushed up the average. As for whether or not salaries have substantially improved, I think we'll have to wait for data from the second half of the year. The analysis by the government's statistics office also showed that overtime wages increased the most in the hotel and lodging industry, where they jumped by 260 percent. The next highest increase was in the retail industry, which saw overtime increase by 130 percent, while overtime at security firms also increased by an average of 40 percent. But the positive numbers don't accord with the impressions of some employees in job search websites, who suggested the numbers were cherry-picked by the administration.